Yesu shimwe cyane torero ry'Imana. Praise the Lord Church of God. Ndashimira Imana muri iki gitondo muri Zion Temple Gatenga. I thank God this morning in Zion Temple Gatenga. Eh turi ku cyumweru cy'anyuma cy'Africa aguruka. We are on the last Sunday of Africa rise. Mu matera rero yacu eh iyo ku cyumweru. And this is our Sunday morning service. Ndabasuza ba Kristo mwese aho muri aho muherereye muri mungurikira mu itorero Gatenga. I greet all of you members of Zion Temple Gatenga wherever you are based following this. Deka muri umwanya munyemereye tu twinjire mu nyigisho zacu. If you may allow we are going to start our sermon. Muziko ijambo turimo twiga ari muri Yesaya and you know that the word we are learning is in Isaiah 48:17. Yesaya mirongwe na numunani chumina karindi we haravuga ngo uite kumuchungu ziwa we we wa Israeli aravuga ti nije uite kima na yao ikuigisha ibi kugiri numumaro ika kujimbere munzira ukuiriye kunyuramo. The Bible says, Thus says the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. Eh, Before I teach, let us pray. Almighty God, our God, the God of power and authority. I come before you with the whole church in this, moment. in this first service in the morning. This is the same day that we're getting ready to finish Africa Arise. I pray that you bless every single person following this. Teaching. Let your peace and grace be with us. Manifest yourself, Jesus. Let your good hand be with us. I thank you. Speak to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have spent the whole week listening to different ministers. different ministers. We had a wonderful, wonderful time. I hope and believe you were blessed. And we are also going to be blessed this evening. I believe if you are not among the people who followed first, you're going to be among those who followed last. And remember that blessed are those who end well than those who begin well. I believe you're going to finish this Africa Arise so well. We tried our very best to hold a virtual conference. And we thank every single person who was involved to the success of this conference. We'd like to appreciate those who are in the technical team. We want to appreciate the interpreters. We want to appreciate the organizing committee. We want to appreciate each one of you who offered anything for the conference. May God bless you. You make us proud as Zion. Keep serving God as you've been doing it. God will reward you. We are looking at this word which says to be led by God, to be taught by God. To be led by God. And to be taught by Nicho God. Africa because this is what Africa needs in this season. Different preachers came back to the scripture. And I'll be honest that we were exhorted. 
y'ibiganiro byakozwe nabyo turabona imana yarakoze ibintu bikomeye when you also look at the panel discussions that were held throughout this week god did great things eh turashimbira abaje bose ku gutanga inyigisho we want to acknowledge every single person who came to give a sermon. Imana ibaho mugisha kandi bagiriye neza. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Eh Dero tribu gerageze mu magambo atari mare mare cyane. We will try briefly. Eh mu magambo mare mare kubijyanye Niri jambo ya Yesaya 48:17:17. We will try to look at the highlights of Isaiah 48:17. Twasomye ijambo rivuga ngo uwite ku mucunguzi wawe we wa Israeli. We have read the word that says that says the Lord your redeemer the holy one. Nije uwite ku Imana yawe ikwigisha ibikugirira umumaro. I am the Lord your God who teaches you to prophesy. Who leads you by the way you should. Ndakoma, nda, nda, nda I will highlight these two sentences. Imana the God who teaches us to prophet. And the God who leads us by Leka the way Let's first look at the God who teaches us to prophet. Eh ndavuga ku bintu bitanu eh bitugirira umumaro nk'umugabane wa Africa. I'll talk about five key points that lead us to profit as Africa. Ibi bintu bitanu ndaza kubiganiraho namwe. I will discuss five key points that lead us to profit. Ikintu cya mbere ni ikintu mu bitugirira umumaro gushira imana imbere nicyo cya mbere. The first thing is to put God forward above everything else. The second is to guard our souls or our hearts. The third that we will look at is to guard our souls is to guard the land that God has given us. The fourth is to host and welcome guests. And number five is to do business with people. These are the five key points we are looking at then we'll see how we are to be led by God. Among us the things that lead us to profit that God wants us to know. Above all else, we have to put God forward. This is special. Why? Because first and foremost, it is God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He was and He will always be. He is the beginning and everything else will follow. And then he's the one who concludes yes, things. Jesus said, I am the Alpha and I am the Omega. And I am the Omega. Africa Africans who lived in ancient Baragi. times, they passed on. But the Africans we have today, they will pass on tomorrow. Then the upcoming generations of Africans will also pass on. But God, God was before Africa. And God will always be after Africa. So when he teaches us to profit, 
It means he has to be above all. He has to be above all things. He has to be above all in Africa. Africa. He has to be in the leadership of Africa. Ya Africa. He has to be in the families of Africa. Ya Africa. He has to be in the houses Africa. Of Africa. Ya Africa. He has to be in the work of Africa. Project ya Africa. He has to be in the projects of Africa. Africa. He has to be in the actions of Africa. He has to be above all. When you put God above all, is all all, he will give you all. God will feed us. God will end our poverty. God will fight for us. When we put him above all, he will solve all our problems. The word of God says in Matthew 6.33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you but seek first the kingdom of God seek his righteousness first seek first Above all, put God above all. Put the kingdom above all. Put his righteousness above all. And all these things shall be added to you. Hallelujah. 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 Africans put God above all. And all these things will be added to you. Mothers, parents, put God first above all in your house. Mothers, put God first in your house. Children, put God first in your lives. Young woman, put God first in your lives. Young man, put God first in your life. When you put God first in your life, he will put you first. God first. God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But seek first the kingdom of God. Seek his leadership. Seek to be led by him. Seek his righteousness. Then all these things shall be added to you. Africa. God is old. Let people not misguide us. Let no one lie to us. Let no one tell you to begin with knowledge. Let no one tell you to begin with money. Let no one tell you to begin with beauty. All is nothing. But God first. Solomon said. He said all is vanity. He said all that I saw. Wisdom. Money. Women. Women. In the end, I found all to be vanity. Solomon says, vanity of vanity. All is nothing. It's as if you're chasing after the wind. What does this mean? So if all is nothing, how do we write nothing? Zero. We call it a zero. zero so zero, Mubusa. zero is nothing. Zero, For zero to have value, there has to be a digit before the zero. What is the digit that we always begin Nirimwe. with? It is one. Imana, niyo number one. God is number one. Yesu niwe alpha number one. Jesus is the Alpha. He's the first digit. He is the beginning. The Bible has said. 
Imana. Begin with God. Ubugami. His kingdom. And his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. Tufugengo. So let's say this. Inzu nubusa. A house is nothing. Amafaranga nubusa. Money is nothing. Ubugiza nubusa. Beauty is nothing. Niba arubusa rero. So if all are nothing, let's begin with Jesus. If Jesus is the first, and you bring the house after the one, because the house was zero alone, but zero behind digit one, what does it become? It becomes ten. Fatarero amafaranga. Now take money. Nizero. It's a zero. Yashire inyuma zero. Yinzu. Put the money behind the house, the zero of the house. Inyuma yarimwe. Which is behind the digit one. Birabijana. What does it become? A hundred. Fata ubwiza. Take beauty. Nindi zero. It's another zero. Nawe shire inyuma yarimwe. Then put it behind one. Hamaze kuba mazero atatu. Now they are three Iba zeros. It's a thousand. Then dushire ibindi nawe. Then keep adding the things you are thinking about. You'll find that you are a billionaire. Because of one digit. The one digit that begins with all. And that's Jesus. So Jesus. If you put him above all in your life. Everything will be added. Pastor Mbadinga said. That that he once followed the teachings of Jimmy Swagger. He said this in the conference the other day. Simon the Cyrenian. He took the cross of Jesus. And carried him. And went behind Jesus. He had value and worth. Simon the Cyrenian. He carried the cross. And he was behind yes, Jesus. Jesus before Simon him. Nyuma. And Simon Umuzima behind him. His life was transformed. So when we follow Jesus. When we go behind Joseph him. Is all will be transformed. All will be changed. Listen to me my Africa. brother. Africa. What is profitable to you. Is to put God first. God is teaching us to put him forward. So that the poverty will end. So that the wars will end. The problems we have will end. All the things that are not in order will be organized. Let's put God Hallelujah. forward. Hallelujah. 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 We need to put God first. The second thing that will make us profitable. It is to guard our hearts. To guard our souls. The Bible says in Proverbs 4.13 Guard your heart above all for out of it springs issues of life. Proverbs 4.23 Guard your heart above with all diligence. For out of it spring the issues of life. We need to guard the hearts of Africa. We need to guard the hearts of the children of Africa. Proverbs 10, 16. Proverbs 10, 16, the Bible says the labor of the righteous leads to life, the wages of the wicked to sin. The labor of the righteous leads to life. And the wages of the wicked to sin. A sinner, what is profitable for them is sinful. But the righteous, what they labor for leads to life. One African child. 
ubugingo bwe ufite agaciro imbere y'Imana n'imbere y'isi Their life is valuable before God and before the world Ariko abanyafrika benshi barakubititse cyane ubugingo bwe burasa n'ubutagira gaciro But the lives of Africans are literally worthless they live in pain and struggle Nambo na ibiyo gutubamo When you look at the countries we live Hano muri America In America for example America wagize kibazo America yosirahaguruka When an American is in a problem or a crisis, the whole of America is America A simple example, an American imprisoned abroad, the whole world will rise. Even in the time of the pandemic, COVID-19, when Americans were outside abroad, the government did everything everything to bring them home. Americans lives are very valuable. God is asking Africans to value the lives of Africans in their land. This is what is profit. This is our profit. The profit of Africans lies in the children of Africa. And the wealth of Africans is the people. We need to safeguard our people. Africa, guard the lives of your children. Let them stop perishing in the Mediterranean Sea. As they try to go to you. Let them not die in the Sahara Desert. As they want to cross to the Mediterranean. Let them stop dying. Africa, Africa guard the lives of your children. There is a word that pilots like to use. They always say this, life. Life. They will always say the pilots that you have life on this pilot plane. When a pilot has a hundred people, he will Take them as if it's one person. Because life is heavy and worthy. God himself died for life. Jesus came to die for life. Africa. Africa. Linda Ujingo Africa. God the lives of Africa. God is telling African leaders. God is telling all influential people in Africa. To do everything possible to save the lives of Africans. African children have the right to live. In the five things that God wants to teach us to profit us, it is to guard the lives. The lives of Africans are valuable before God. More than fifty percent of African population is of youth Africa no mugabane ugifite urubyiruko Africa is a young continent Yindi migabane irashaje Other continents are old Ariko muri Africa iracafite urubyiruko But Africa has youth Ariko urubyiruko rw'abanya Africa rurafa cyane But African youth perish because no one is really paying attention to them. They study, but they remain unemployed. Others can't even study and can't find work. Then they go away to find life. And it's many who perish in those 
journeys. Africans fight for your daughters that they will not be enslaved. Many are sold in Dubai, in Qatar, they are sold as sex slaves. In Mauritania, they are slaves. Others are in prostitution trying to survive. African daughters are sold as sex slaves. Africa, rise to fight for the lives of your daughters and sons. That's what is profitable to us. That's what God wants from us. Let's not sell the lives of our children. Let's not sell the lives of our sons and daughters. This is what the Bible says in Matthew 16, 26. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? So what will a man give in exchange for his soul? What can you do to exchange for your soul? Africa. 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 The lives of our children are very valuable before God. If one African dies, let's consider it ten to a hundred If two Africans die, let it be a thousand Africans dead. If three Africans die, let it be a million souls of Africans lost. What can we do to give in exchange for the lives of Africans? What's the whole profit of us having all, yet our children have no life? God is calling us to be watchmen for Africans. So that we may take the lives of Africans from sin and death. Ezekiel 3, 17 to 21. The Bible says, Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore hear a word from my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his his Africa. To your hand. We are calling you to rise for the to salvation of African souls. Africa. That African slaves may be set free. I am amazed when I look at the many Africans in prison. Looking at China. China doesn't imprison its people. But it sends them to Africa to work. Most Chinese people that you see in Africa building roads, working on different infrastructures, most of them are prisoners sent to make profit Nero, for China. 
So we need to find ways to make profit out of the prisoners we have because they have minds and they have strength. They can do work. Africa, Africa, you need to teach your people. Africa, Africa, you need to protect your people. Those souls need an education. African souls need to be protected. We need to protect Africans from death. We need to protect Africans from death. And when shall we do this? When we the spirit of war Africans are fleeing their nations because of wars the sword has been risen against Africans and it's still there so what is profitable for Africans is to take the sword and put it back in its sheath. And it is not God who will do this. It is us to will to do this and to stop fighting. In the history of Jews and even in their principles, no Jew kills another Jew. But Africans kill Africans. Africans kill other Africans. Africa. 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 Let's take this sword off the neck of our brothers. Because that's a soul we need to fight for. We need to protect them from pestilence. The pestilence. We want to acknowledge the leadership of African countries in these times of coronavirus. African leaders stood to fight. You did great things. In Congo, they discovered medicine for Ebola. We are asking Africans to rise one more time and find medication for malaria. Stop the death in African lives. And when the pestilence will come, it will go back. And wars will stop in Africa and we will build our nation. And if the wars will stop, we will advance and develop. Again, we need to protect our souls from poverty. I've told you we need to protect our souls from sin. We need to protect our souls from death. Taking off the sword and fighting diseases. Number three, we need to protect Africans from poverty. How will we protect our lives from poverty? Proverbs 12, 24. Proverbs 12, 24, the Bible says, the hand of the diligent will rule, but the lazy Africans' hands arise to work hard. May your hand be diligent to work. Let's fight against laziness. Let's fight against the lazy hand. Proverbs 10 verse 4. He who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. A slack hand will become poor. The hand of a lazy man will be poor. 
but the hand of the diligent will be rich. Africans, let's stop looking at the hours we work, but let's look at what we make as we work. Africans, let's not look at the strength that we employ, but the product that comes from our strength. Africans, let's not be people who talk much, but let's be people who do much. Africans have so many theories. We are good at talking, but not good at working. When Africans become wealthy, they take their money to Western nations. African money is lying in American banks and European banks. And that money is used to feed Europeans. Za milioni na za milioni za madolari ya ava muri Afrika aliyami makonte iburaya. Millions and millions of dollars lying in European banks. Uzicho mifuga. Do you know what that means? Matayo gatana tumakumia wili numwe. Matthew 6, 21. Ndwa kuko, ahubu tunzi buwa yoburi aliwanu mutima wa uzaba. The Bible says that where your wealth is, so your heart will be. Awa na wanya Afrika wariru kwa jiburaya kuko ni wa mafara angari. Uh, young Africans are running to Europe because that's where their wealth is. The wealth of Africa, the treasure of Africa is in the West. That's why Africans are running. They are fleeing to go to the West because where treasure is, so but when money was to come back, Hospitals would be built in Africa. Universities would be built in Africa. Great roads would be built in Africa. Children would be employed. No one would go to the West again. Because the hearts would remain where the treasure is. But today the heart of Africans are not in Africa. They are after the treasure that is in the West. Let's protect them against this poverty. Let's protect them from this hunger. Let the wealth of Africa re rest be restored to Africa. Then the wealth of the people will come back. Our people are our wealth. Our youth will come back. Because treasure will be in Africa. And where treasure is, so will the heart be. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Another thing that brings profit to us, the third, it is to protect the soil God has given us. We have said putting God forward number one. Number two, protecting the soul of Africa or soul of Africa. Number three, protecting the land God has given us. Genesis 215. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and Adam. God told Adam Tend this garden and keep it. Two, two great things God will give you. Two things that you will never negotiate with God God will give you parents. You will never choose parents. And then he gives you a nation. You will never choose the nation you were born in. 
That's why you should never withhold the rights of other people. When you tell them they have an ugly mother or an ugly father, or hate your parents, but you didn't choose them. Choose. You have to love your parents. God gave you your parents. Number two, they birthed you living somewhere. Where is this place? It is your nation. You acquire the citizenship nationality of that land because that's where you were born. No one chooses their nation. It is God who gives you the nation you were born in. You can choose another nation. But that's not your land. Now, because the whole world belongs to God, you can have another nationality, but no one will take your heritage, your land of heritage. God asks us to protect God asks to tend our nation. We need to enjoy our land. Africa is a wealthy continent. But we do not tend to it. This is a continent we neglect. This is a continent we are oblivious to its wealth. This is a continent we despise. But this is the continent God gave us. God is asking every African to take care of us. That will make us profitable. Let's protect it against soil erosion. We we need to protect African forests. We need to protect African seas. And we need to protect African mountains. Why? If we don't protect our nature, Africa will not live well. Mountains will live well if we live well. Because man is connected to nature and soil. When man sinned, even the land had a problem. We need to protect our souls so that our land will be protected. There is a song in America that they love which says, this is your nation. This land is your land. Ijo, iyo nindirimbo ya himbuge nuitwa Woody Guthrie mwaka igumbi kimwe magani chenda milongwine. In 1940, Woody Guthrie composed a song that says, this is your land. Nindirimbo is which ane muri America. This is a very known song in America. This land is your land. Ikigiugu ni giugu chawi. Now Africa, Africa ni giugu chawi. Africa, Africans, this is your Africa land. Africa is your land. Africa ni giugu chawi. Africa, protect Africa. Itekura Africa, rinda Africa. Imani za tuwaza uburyo tukita ekuri Africa. God will ask us how we took care of Africa. We need to rise up, cultivate, tend Africa. 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 We need to put Africa on the right Africa. path. We need to put Africa where God prepared for us to put it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. African soil is very valuable before him and he wants us to be profitable in it. Let no one take our soil anyhow. Let no one have access to our atmosphere. Let no one have access to it. Let no one have access to our forests. Because they are valuable. 
Because under African soil there is wealth. Let no one just dig anyhow. Let no one just take our soil. Our soil is for African Hallelujah. 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 Another thing that God is teaching us to profit us. Which is very valuable. God is teaching us to host people. We need to host people. Because God has made us very hospitable. Hebrews 13, 12. The Bible says that you should host people because among us, those who did it, they hosted angels without knowing that they hosted Africa, angels. This is an open continent. But it has borders with other places. Africa, Africa needs to open its doors, its gates, and welcome guests. Africa needs to open doors and receive. We have African Americans who are taken as slaves to America. We have them in Brazil. We have them in Cuba. We have, them in Cuba. We have others in England and other continents. Africa needs to open doors to these African children, the descendants of Africans, and welcome them back home. They will never kill them with knees on their necks anymore. Why? Because they will know they have a place they belong. Yes, America might be their home, but they also need the liberty to know that Africa is their home. In the history of Africa, we will find that Africa hosts people. This is, this is the only continent that hosted God. When God had a God. Besides where Jesus was born, Israel. in Israel, the other place he could find peace was in Africa. Why did Jesus choose to come to Africa? Why did God tell Joseph and Mary to flee and go and hide in Egypt? It is because Abraham, the great ancestor of Jesus, came to Africa and found a blessing in Africa. The second reason is that Jacob, his grandson, came to Africa with his children. The day that they left, Africa gave them wealth to take back. People who fled to Africa found peace. But this is the problem. When people live in problems and under a curse, instead of hosting people, they will go as slaves, as refugees. Today, Africans live as refugees in the West. Not because Africa cannot host them, but because our land has a problem in the spirit. Because our systems have spiritual problems. God is asking that we host people again so that refugees will come to Africa from other continents that we may host them 
that they may be blessed Africa. here. Africa. You will be profitable as you host people. Receive guests. And your tourism Africa will be a continent yes, of great cha. pleasure. Yes, Praise Jesus. Number five. That, that God is telling us that we may be profitable. We need to do business well with people. Africans need to know how to do business successfully with other Africans. Without stealing. Without robbing people. Leviticus 25, 14. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, and if you sell anything to your neighbor or buy from your neighbor's hand, you shall not oppress one another. You should not oppress or steal from your neighbor or try to make an excess profit. You need to make a profit, they need to make a profit. Win, win. It should be a win-win situation for You shouldn't steal from your neighbor. You all need to make profit. Africa, Africa, so Africa, as we are doing business with other continents, they shouldn't steal from us. It should be a win-win situation in business with Africa. So Africans, when they do business with us, listen to this, they should make profit, we should make profit. Do not do the kind of business or sign agreements as a continent that will cost your lives. Hmm. Leviticus 19.13, you shall not cheat your neighbor, nor rob him. The wages of him who is hired shall not Africa. remain with you. Africans, we shouldn't work for nothing. Our hands, our minds have great value. Africans, do not rob your neighbor. The wages of whom who, he who is hired should <inaudible> not be made you. you. shouldn't steal from your neighbor. <inaudible> and make profit out of them and don't give them what is due to them. <inaudible> the Bible does not accept <inaudible> it. Africans. Africans, God is asking us to be profitable and not to steal. The Bible says, I'll teach you to profit. I'll help you make profit. There is wisdom in doing business right. You need to do things that are profitable to you. But do not profit off someone's pain. Oh yeah. No. God told the Israelites, Egypt made you slaves. Do not make your fellow countrymen slaves. Five things that we have to do so that we are profitable. Yes, Praise the Lord. We need to put God forward. It will make the us profitable. Two, we need to guard our souls. Africans need to be protected. 
Number three, we need to guard our soil, our land. Ichakane. Number four, we need to host people. Ichagatan. Number five, we need to do business right and not rob people. Praise God. We will be protected by God. We will be led by Him. If we can take down these lessons and be profitable. When we, where, we read, where we read Isaiah 48:17, we see the leadership of God. That it is I, the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. We need to find the way of God. We need the way of God. Jesus is our way. Africa, you need to know Jesus. John 14, 46. Jesus says, and where I go, you know, and the way you, you and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going, and how can we know where the way? So we know the way. Yes, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the only way. Yes, Jesus is the truth. Yes, Jesus is the light. Let's accept to follow this way. Let the gospel be preached and people know Jesus. Africans, brothers. Yes, Jesus is the Mes way. Amis Africans. My African friend. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Il est la vie. He is the life. Il est la vérité. He is the truth. Personne ne vient au Père. No one comes to the Father Il passe par Jésus. without going through Jesus. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. He is the only way we've been given, brethren. There is no other way. He is the only way. Africa. Africa, do not seek yes, far. Jesus, Jesus is the way. Kuri. Jesus yes, is the truth. Mugingo. Jesus Mi is the life. If you receive Mi him, yesu. if you receive him, you will be led by God. What is it to Mi be led by yesu. God? It is to receive Ani Jesus. And then follow his no word. Mahame ye. Follow his Mi principles. If we do this, we will be blessed upon this. Brethren Africa, allow in this moment that we may pray. Zion Temple, in this morning, I ask you to focus on Jesus. If you're following on TV or radio, on YouTube, let's focus. He is the way. We are going to pray this moment. I'm asking you wherever you are to be led by God. Africa be led by God. Rwandans. Burundi. Burundians. Congo. Congolese. Tanzania. Tanzania. Uganda. 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 Kenya. Kenya. Sudanese. Sudanese. All Africa. South Africa. All the way up to North Africa. Be led by God. Jesus is the way leading us to God. I ask that we pray in this moment together, that you may receive Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life. Repeat this prayer. Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Come into me. Be my king. Be my Savior. The Savior of my life. Jesus, I open my heart. Put your way in me. Put your truth in me. Put your life in me. Known, from today. My name. Let it come from the book of death. And let it be written in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. 
for mining is in the book of life. Glory be unto you. Thank you for forgiving me. Today I'm in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God, I show you this conference. We are concluding today in the evening. We ask that you be with us. Come and lead us. What we haven't said, let your spirit show us. Bless every single person. Follow with us. It is in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Jesus bless you.